Sonic CD. My favorite game of all time. Released in 1993 for the, I guess, not too terrible Sega CD. But, yes, today we are going to be reviewing Sonic the Hedgehog CD, released in 1993, for the Sega CD. I hope you guys will enjoy. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So, a little bit of a uh, backstory for Sonic CD. After Sonic the Hedgehog 1's immense success, Sega and Sonic Team wanted to make a sequel. So, they were under a lot of pressure and they couldn't really work together, so they split into two to make two different games. Here in America, they were working on making so they were working on the creation of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which is in my case the inferior well, in my opinion, the inferior game. And then over in Japan, we Takashi Izuka and the rest of Sonic team were working on Sonic the Hedgehog C D. Also, the person who was working on Sonic 2, part of that was part of Sonic Team, was um Yuji Naka. I don't know what happened. I don't know where Na Naoto Oshima is in this situation, but yeah, those three are the are part of Sonic Team. But um, yeah. Well, um, Sonic Two released in on. November 24th, 1992, which was the first street date game called Sonic Tuesday in America. Hee <laughs> hee, Japan didn't get that. But in Japan, I think it might have been November 14th. Well, here in America, released Sonic CD released in November 14th of 1993. So it was just about a year later. But there was way more hype surrounding Sonic 2 than Sonic CD. I don't think people knew about it yet, but nobody really cared about the Sega CD. Poor thing. But, um, yeah. They made Sonic CD, which, in my opinion, is the greatest game ever made. I know it might sound weird for me to say that, but in my opinion, it's just, it's a mix good game mixed with a little bit of bias equals my favorite game but let's just get into why i think it's a good game so let's compare sonic cd to sonic 1 and 2 released at the time sonic 1 when it was first released there was no other sonic game it was amazing but that game only Green, Green Hill Zone was the perfect mix of everything. It had a lot of things to do and play around with. Well, so, well, Sonic CD, all of its levels are basically Green Hill Zone. But sometimes they're a little bit faster. Because every level in Sonic CD is littered with things to do. And... And... Well, Sonic 1 rewarded you for exploration by by giving you like rings or shields or a speed up or a speed shoes or something or an extra life. Well, Sonic CD can reward you with exploration with about the same things and and Wacky Workbench Past can reward you with an angel statue that will give you rings. And if you're wondering, hey, why do you say past? Well, that's where we can compare it to Sonic 2. Sonic 2 has has more focus on speed rather than platforming and exploration, but you can still run around and explore things. But it just has a little bit more emphasis on speed. Sonic CD has quite a bit of emphasis on speed mainly in Stardust Speedway and, um, Palm Tree Panic. Because, well, the reason I said past could relate to Sonic 2 is because during development of Sonic 2, there was supposed to be a time travel mechanic. 
but they ultimately scrap that as you know if you've played the game but that concept concept went on to be featured in sonic cd and how do you and you might be wondering how do you travel to to um the past or the future well you can find these little signposts that say future or past on them if you go and if you hit one you can see in the little corner in the um bottom left corner you can see past or future you gotta speed up you gotta run and then um sparks will fly and this is kind of based on back their idea was kind of based on back to the future if you run a certain speed sparks will start flying out of sonic's back and and the um signpost icon will start will start flickering and you got to keep going at that at that um speed when it's flickering or else you'll lose that chance to time travel and you'll have to have um you'll have to find another signpost well the, the past signposts are probably the most um useful because well probably they are the most useful because if you go to the past, there's two endings in this game. There's also an opening FMV, which Toy Animation did a really good job with. But, um, there's a, there's two endings. There's the good ending and the bad ending. There's two ways you can get the good ending. You can either go to the past and destroy all the hidden robot generators, which, um, you gotta destroy them to, um, and a good future in that act and if you um get all the robot generators in a zone you will get the good future of that zone and also in sonic generations one note on stardust speedway when you fight metal sonic it's stardust speedway bad future so does that technically mean sonic bricked up that 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 means if that's actually canon then that means canonically sonic screwed up he got the bad ending. Well, um, um, well, you gotta, wait one second, technical difficulties. Okay, back to the thing. And the second way to get the good ending is to collect all the time stones. There is no cha there are no chaos emeralds in this game. There is time stones. They don't really serve a purpose other to than to get the good ending. They're, or well, if you collect them all of them mid game, before um before Metallic Madness Act Two, it'll give every um zone a good future automatically. And um. And there's also another collectible in the past. Where it, well, it's not collectible. It's another thing you can destroy in the past, which is the Metal Sonic holograms. And also, this game has two new characters. Metal Sonic and Amy Rose. Let's talk about Metal Sonic first. Metal Sonic is um, Sonic's main rival in the classic games. Silver Sonic... Silver Sonic and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was just a metal Sonic, just ma just a silver Sonic. He's really big and clunky, and he just looks almost identical to Sonic, and he's really stupid and weak. But, Metal Sonic looks different. You can see that he kind of, that he sort of resembles Sonic with the, with his blue color, the the spines on his on the back of his head, but he is a cold metallic. He is a cold hard metallic murderer, and his only purpose is to defeat Sonic. And um, he he has well his design. You can see that he has two dark just dark voids for eyes with red pupils and he has a pointy nose coming out of his coming out of his um st metallic muzzle and his body well, well the back of his head his spines 
they don't look like Sonic. They don't really look like Sonic, but that just show shows that Eggman put some real hard work into this guy. And he made him stand out from Sonic, but still resemble him. And, um... His body... He has a, um... He has an exhaust fan right in his... Right in the center of his, um, body. And he has a jet engine in the back of his... On his back that allows him to speed. That allows him to go... F Almost right, almost as fast as Sonic, because he was created with the power, with the ability to match Sonic's every ability. That every move, he knows every his every move. That's where the famous sentence, that's where the famous phrase from Sonic OVA, "You might know everything I'm gonna do, but that's not gonna help you, since I know everything you're going to do." Strange, isn't it? Comes from. Also, tell me in the comments if I did a good impression of whoever the heck voice Sonic and that. But, um, yeah, and his legs are very skinny. His arms are very skinny, too, but his hands, it's basically like a yellow metallic plate with just sharp, long steel fingers. But his shoes, kind of weird. They still have that stripe, but they also have, like, a little circle. And, like, not the middle of the stripe, but a little bit back behind the middle, but there's still a stripe coming out of it, but not too much of them. You, you'll see in the pic, you see in the picture. Um, but yeah. Then there's Amy Rose, which, um, her, she has two designs. There, this is her classic design. And as you can see, Amy Rose is basically just like a pink Sonic. She has, she has the three spines coming out of her back, well, the back of her head. She has the little headband, and she has the three little things coming out of her forehead, like, um, tails. But, you can also she, see, she, see, she has eyelashes, and she also has a dress. It's a, um, orange dress with a green skirt. You can see, I just don't, I don't know. I might, you can, you see in the picture, don't you? Um, but yeah, she has blue shoes, and she's just basically just like a pink Sonic. Pink girly Sonic. And she, her parent personality, the reason she's on, um, Little Planet, which is the, where the whole thing, t I already did talk about a, the story, so, yeah, I'll, next time I'll do the, um, stages, the... The stages, the, um, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna do whatever I want next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!